Hi everybody, welcome back to Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I dry brush the uh, chassis of my cars. Now the first thing I do is I paint them and detail them as much as they would I would wanna do them for right when I come off the showroom floor. Look, that is like it's brand spanking new, okay? And that way I'm not going back over what I am dirtying up and putting clean on. Now there's some things that I might go back over and touch up, but mostly I'm not. And I'll do this on the same model probably three times. I'll do it right now before I start adding anything. I'll do it once I get the suspension and everything on. And then the last thing I do is I put on my exhaust, and I'll do a video on my exhaust too, because I had a bunch of people asking about this too. And I will show you how I rust my exhaust, and you'll be like, wow, that's that easy. But for right now, we're just going to do the basic how I dry brush. And I'm going to use two colors. I'm using XF60 dark yellow, and I'm using NATO brown XF68. I'm using a flat brush that is pretty stiff and pretty old, okay? Because it beats it up pretty good. So let's start off with the XF60. I've already mixed these pretty well. I still get my shake because I'm an old dog and habits are hard to die. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to take this and I'm going to really, really, really try to keep all this in the frame. So you can see it this time. I dry brushed um, on another video and it was like half of it you couldn't even see. So see, I loaded that brush up pretty good and now I am going to take all of it back off. See there? Now let's take the car. Let's move this side. My knuckles don't get in there. I'm gonna take the car and I'm gonna go just the direction that the car travels. And I like to do the frame first. See how that goes across the top? Come on there, hit it again. Now let's do this flat. Come up from here, watch where I'm going. Okay. I try to keep going the same direction that the dirt's gonna go. The more times you go over it, the more details are going to come out. Now, when I say go the same way the dirt's going to go, I don't try to cross over anything this way. Let me get a little bit more on that brush. Just dipping it in here a couple of times. You can see my brush is beat to snot. And I like this brush, so I'm not throwing it away. I'm still using it on this. All right, now... I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit this again just to see where I am. Look at that pop now. I got more paint on the brush. So I'm going to come over a few things like that. Let's do the high spots here. I hope you all like my videos. I mean, I've been doing this since the 70s, to be honest with you. And I've learned a lot of stuff. I'm still learning every single time I come down here. We did that firewall or that fender. Let's do this one. Just a few strokes in there. Add some dirt. Let's get that on there. Let's get it on these ridges right here. That's where the dirt's going to fly. Okay. Now let's come back and start walking this out on this side. I'm losing my paint. I still have paint on this. So I'm gonna rub it both sides. Hit it a couple of times. Let's come back. This is starting to really, see how that's starting to show up? Look at that pop. How dirty should we make this? Should we make it 
middle of the summer dirt road dirty on this Camaro. I am going to do the Camaro pretty clean on the top, but like I said in a couple other videos, no matter what you try to do, the underside's going to get dirty. Uh, see, I still got, I got a bunch on here, so I'm going to come back on these high spots. Let's get these fenders while I got a bunch in here still. Where your wheels are throwing it, it's going to get in there. I don't care unless you're trailering it, even taking it to the show, you're going to get dirt on there. There we go. See how it's starting to show up? Get in there. Get up here. Over here. Down the rockers. Underneath here. I think you can still see where it says Made in China in there a little bit, but what are you going to do? I want to dirty that gas tank up a little bit more. Because this... This color does not really show up that much on there. There we go. Look at how cool that looks. Little spots. Turn your brush. But see, I'm trying to go the same direction. And I'm really trying to work these high spots where this is going. Look at the difference in there. Now, I'm going to close this bottle up for a minute. We're going to take, yeah, I shook it again. Like I said, I already mixed these really well. I'm going to take the NATO brown. We're going to do dirt road brown. So even though you get the white, the let's go in there. And I'm not worried about cleaning the brush with water or anything because we already took 99.999% of it off. Now let's put a little bit of red dirt road on this thing. Ready? Start at the front, just real quick. And yeah, I'm going back and forth, hitting it both ways. A little bit, let's get some more on there. Check it out. And you can go back and forth with colors. You can add as many colors as you want. Look at there we go with the brown. Now what we're doing is we're adding a little bit of depth by using the second color. Oh, that gas tank's looking really good too. I am super happy with this. Let's get all the way over. I missed some on there. Come down the back where the dirt kicks up. Get into these wheel wells. We gotta get these wheel wells dirtier. And think about it, man. When you're driving a car, where's that dirt flying? You know? There we go. A little bit more. Up on the edges. Down the rockers where my hands are. All the way across. Back up. Let's get this wheel well right here real good. here and hit the high spots again come back over it now let's get the dog fur off of here all right now that's starting to look a little dirty now one more time i'm gonna come back what do we got maybe five minutes in this dirtied up one brush and aged the car by a couple of months now it's not showroom fresh anymore <laughs> so here we go get a little bit of the tan on here again and we're going to come back and we're going to go over top and give it depth now I'm going to go a little bit lighter than I did I want a little bit darker than that I wiped all of that off there we go come back there it is see it nice see now I'm taking that that dark dark brown and I'm lightening it up a little bit I'm not covering it by any means I'm just adding a little bit boy I missed that whole thing a little bit of depth to it now oh. 
most of this under here you won't see anyhow uh, i want to add some more paint to the brush and this is like the bob ross of modeling here just a happy brush happy paint there is no such thing as an accident shoot if you hate what you did you can always take it back over to the spray booth and <laughs> paint it over <laughs> all right hey again thank you for everybody for all my subscriptions and for all the kind words watching my vids I think I am going to call that. No, right there. See how that's super duper shiny? Let's get in there. Hey, my laundry's done. Ah, oh, yes. Come back. I want to get some more on there. And yeah, some more on there. I'm just taking the, the bright, bright, bright um, shine off the fuel line and off the brake lines and down here. Here, it'll be a little bit cleaner because it's up and hidden. And now check that out, guys. That took all of, I don't know, this is gonna be probably an eight to 10 minute video at the most. But now you got an awesome looking dirty car on the underside. And even, like I said, you take the car to the show, it's gonna be nice and clean on the top. But underneath, I guarantee it, you call underneath somebody's car and take a good look, unless they trailered it in, it's gonna have dirt on it. Not this much, I mean, I'm dirt road dirt here, but makes it a little bit of life, and it's fun. I just had a blast doing it, and I hope you had a blast watching. I am Mark, this is Grandpa Mark's Hobbies. Come back for my next video. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.